Okay, g'day, my name's Sean. Uh, we're here at Spirit Gallery and amongst the fine collection of didgeridoos here. Today we're going to teach you, a you guys a little bit about, or actually what you need to do to actually repair a didgeridoo. Now sometimes you'll actually find that they'll actually, like, you know, especially with this one here, somebody's dropped it, it's split through this, like uh, the mouthpiece end. So as you can see here, it's actually quite an extensive crack. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to repair it because they are repairable. You can actually fix your didgeridoos and now uh, we'll get into it's like showing you what you basically need to actually it's like, you know, get your didgeridoo back into working order. Right here, yeah. okay now these are the basics like things that you need for your didgeridoo repair kit. We've got Aquadir and in fact it's actually PVA glue or, or craft glue or, or wood glue. It's actually it's like we, what we prefer to use to select today. You can actually use super glues, providing that they do have flexing qualities. In other words, it's actually going to expand and contract with the wood that actually moves. It is a wooden instrument, so therefore you do have that happening. And also, too, as well, strong bonding strength there. So if you're going to go for the, it's like, you know, the super glue, or if not, it's like, you know, uh, crazy glue, or it's like you know, any of those types, it's like um, uh, araldite glues in it there, that's what you've got to get. Flex, and also strong bonding qualities. We've also got our sawdust here. The sawdust is actually it's like really, really good for you guys that actually do have it's like didgeridoos that are unpainted, such as these ones over here. You can match this like the tone of this like the repair by actually scraping back this like in this case the gloss and then getting to the wooden, shaving off a few shavings and then actually chopping that up into a really nice fine powder. You can mix it with the Aquadia, it actually works a lot better with wood glue or PVA glue. It's like with this uh, with the uh, super glue or if not these like araldite glues you're actually going to have to work very, very quickly. So for, in this case here, we're going to use the wood glues. Then finally too as well, it's like, oh not finally, but one of the other things is a scalpel blade or a standing knife. We're going to use this to actually open up the crack and also too as well there to scrape off some of the excess, uh, it's like repair jobs, like uh, stuff that we're actually going to mix in there. And then also finally too as well there, you'll need sandpapers to get it down back to a nice smooth finish. And that's basically it there. A little bit of a board that you can throw away and a nice little like, you know, a little mixing blade or scalpel or whatever it's called in it there, or pallet knife. Then we can mix the glues and also the sawdust together. So that's our basic repair kit. That's what you'll need. Okay, now this is step one. What we're going to do is expose the crack. Now, as you can see with all Jalu didgeridoos, they are painted using his traditional like a uh, body painting designs. In this case here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to scrape along this, like the paint off. And this way here, we can actually get a clear idea how extensive the crack is going to be. Now, in this case here, we're going to have to match the paint with the original paint job that's done here. So in this case here, use ochre coloured paints in it there. That's actually what there. There's actually quite a range of them too as well nowadays there. So that's what we've done. We've actually exposed the crack there, cleared away the, like, the actual uh, paint. And that way there, the, the repair job, the, like, the glue and also the sawdust mix, is actually going to adhere to that surface there. We want a nice, it's like, you know, broad surface area there. So I'll just finish that up by doing this at the top. And there you go, as you can see, the crack is clearly exposed there. And that way there, we've got a good idea as to what we've got to do. Now, Next step, what we're going to do is you're going to get your scalpel blade and to make sure that you're actually cutting away from your body in it there. Don't be you know, doing this standing there because then you can stab yourself. These things are quite dangerous, so be aware of that there. So placing this like the scalpel blade inside of the crack, we're going to move along the side of the crack there. We're basically going to make a V cut. We're going to widen that crack open because we want to put a lot of material in there. And that way there we get a nice, it's like strong bond around the crack surface itself. So as you can see there, I'm lifting it out as we go along. Make sure you watch out for getting splinters. I don't know how many times I've actually gotten a splinter. There we go, we just do that. It's like we're just opening it up a little bit as we go on up there. Now you can see here, we've actually got the crack is actually like split into two, but it's still the same crack. So we're gonna continue on here and we're gonna join those two up there. So we're going to cut into that there. And as you can see, I'm removing quite a lot of material. That's all right, don't be afraid to actually remove quite a lot of material. 
as you can see here there's a big massive hole in there now that's all right we can actually fill that in there with the sawdust and glue mix so we're doing it along one side on this side here opening it up there getting a nice like clear opening so, like, so therefore we can pack it in later on okay now we've just opened up the crack it's so like as you can see we've actually made it quite extensive in it there we've opened up and in fact some parts you can actually see the internals like a uh, part of it there doesn't matter we're gonna actually pack that full of this like the wood and sawdust uh, wood glue and sawdust mix so there you go we've cleaned it all up it's ready to like uh, start to repair okay now what we're going to do is we're going to mix it with sawdust now as you can see with this particular one it's got it's like the same it's going to match the same wood color in it of this particular like, uh, log that's actually was used in there the same tree in it there so that way there it's like with you guys with natural didgeridoos you can just like yeah, match this like the actual wood grain in it there as i said before that's how it's like you just scrape off this like bit of like uh, wood off the surface of the didgeridoo now what you do get out your wood glue Squeeze out a nice dollop in it there. Don't be afraid to use a lot with this stuff. We're gonna get this like sawdust, get this, and we're gonna mix it in here. 50 50 is basically what you wanna get. So just like a gluggy, like a porridgey type of thing. So as we can see here, there's a still a lot more wood glue in it there, so we're gonna add some more. Yeah, that's about right. And probably a little bit more too as well. So you want a nice even consistency, 50-50 basically. And there we go. That's ready to be put into the crack. Okay, as you can see, it's like it's actually quite the same consistency as say like cookie dough or something like that. That's what you really want there. It's like you don't want it too runny nice and firm in it there and that way there we can work it into the crack there and it's not going to fall through the crack right now what you need to do is get it like on your little like a uh, mixing palette knife you don't need a palette knife just an ordinary like you know, butter knife or something like that there'd be fine now what we're going to do as you can see i'm just moving it along the crack and i'm pressing it in there i'm going to force it into the crack because that's what you want you want it all inside the crack there and also too as well you can see i'm actually leaving a lot of excess like above it because the glue is going to shrink you're going to have to like use a little bit more than like what would normally be flush in the crack so there we go nice little raised ridge of this sawdust and glue mix so working it along there working it along getting it in there and it becomes apparent why we actually scrape off the paint on the outside of it there. We want a nice clean surface so the glue actually gets in there. And as I mentioned before, it's like more is better. If you catch yourself it's like you know, with not enough glue and wood mix, well then you're gonna have to mix up a whole lot and then that's something that you don't want. You want a consistent consistent patch job in there it's like you want to go in there one time at the same time therefore it's like you know parts of this like the crack are not curing it's like you know, before the other parts you want a nice even consistent curing with this like the actual sawdust and glue mix Okay, so as you can see now, I've actually just finished off the final touches. I've pushed it right into that crack there, make sure it's all filled in. Smoothed off the edges in it there, getting a nice like broad surface area that's actually going to help that's like a repair job or the, the wood glue mix, it's like adhere to that surface there. So there we go. So what we're gonna do is leave that for a couple of hours. Ideally, you should leave it for overnight and that way there the wood glue and also this like sawdust mix actually does cure nicely at there. And that way there when you go to cut in the excess off the actual didgeridoo, it's actually not gonna lift off. So yeah, so we're gonna leave it and uh, we'll get back to this like the next step after it's, it's finished curing. Right, here we are again, ready to finish up our repair job. 
As you can see, I'm glowed differently, so it is the next day. Now, um, basically what we're gonna do, just basically scrape off the excess. It's all cured hard, so it should be nice, nicely stuck in that crack there that we've opened up in it there. So here we go, we've got the old scalpel blade. Yet again, I can't stress the importance of actually making sure that you cut away from yourself. Don't stand here and stab yourself in the chest. So here we go, so I'm just gonna scrape off this here. And as you can see, it's really, really hard. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of force. Hence the fact that I'm over this side of the didgeridoo knot at that end there. So we start cutting in there. And as you can see, it's really, really tough, but you want it tough, because it's got to last at there. It's got to be durable. It's got to have that bonding capability. There we go. Just scraping it off there. Okay, now, as you can see now, we've removed the excess repair job. It's still a little bit rough, so we're just gonna sand it back there using some medium gauge sandpaper, and then follow up with some like uh, some fine sandpaper like that there. So here we go. Just to get it, so when we do start to paint, it's not gonna be all rough, and we can actually get it looking pretty much the way it was before it got damaged. Okay, so we finished sanding, as you can see, it's like the, the type of sawdust we've used is actually it's like matched this like the colour of the wood. So that's a good thing for you all you guys with natural coloured didgeridoos. But because this is painted, we're going to patch it up by using a, it's like a similar colour paint. And then in this case here, because it's an Arnhem Land didgeridoo, we're going to have to use an ochre colour paint. A couple of coats there will get a nice even coat there matching up the colour. And now, as you can see, it's actually, it's a little bit more yellow than before, but that's all right. That'll just like uh, tone down there once we uh, let it dry. But we can help that out by actually just like doing the whole of the section in the same color. So, okay, here we go. We're just putting on the last touches for the Jalu didgeridoo repair job. The final brush stroke on the prepared job, good as new, or as we say in Australia, good as gold, mate. There you go.